Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Darkest Dungeon. Um, we're gonna do this Shrieker quest. It's a boss fight. I have to be honest with you, I looked up what it is. It's a boss fight against an enemy. And I'm gonna set the stage for you. If we kill him in three turns, four turns, he's dead. If we don't... Well, I mean, you could do the math on that. He's not dead, is the thing. He won't be dead after that. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, but all you have to do is survive. If you survive for four turns, it counts as completing the mission. Spooky, perhaps. But I'm using a guide suggested by the internet to help me have a chance to stand a chance. Now, I will admit, so the, the idea here is that it's uh, pretty much mark and high damage synergy, which is not something we're really invested in because our bounty hunter sucks now. They, they've been killed. Um, so instead, we might roll, like, man-at-arms. Raising the dodge of our own units so that they're likely to live. I think this might work. I just want to go back. Again, it's going to be a four-turn battle. Mind you, the bird, I think, gets three actions per turn. And I hear this is one of the hardest things in the game. Uh, and, and people often lose party members on this. Perhaps many party members. So we are going to invest 100%, at least in armor. God, that's expensive. <laughs> wow, now you know what? It was cheaper to buy the rare one last time. I didn't realize it was 7500 even for garbage. Uh, we're not going to invest in abilities yet, though. Okay, so we're going to go unequip all trinkets, yes. Sort by rarity. And you know how it goes. Man in arms. Well, healer, usually, you take these. And I think that's fair. Arbalist, sniper's ring, plus sun ring. Although, I gotta admit, ah, 40, 50. Okay, I know Hafas is natural. We're still going to raise her damage by 25%. It's going to lower her speed by a little bit. That's fine. I think we might give her a sun ring as well. Uh, who do we want to attack on? Turn one, we'd really like to get the mark on as soon as possible. So you know what? Maybe we say forget the tough ring. Make sure our occultist maybe goes first and has a chance to get the, the ring on. And we're keeping the light high. Yeah, so we're not using Hell's Hairpin. And then Man-at-Arms. Where's your eye patch, buddy? Every time. Plus four dodge? It's a little whack, but we'll give you a Sun Ring as well. Alright. I don't know if we have any chance to succeed. I know this guy does... Anything that gives you extra damage against Eldritch is going to be incentivized, but... I'd really rather have you put a Mark on first turn, I think. Yes, yeah, still Embark. If I lose party members, I lose party members, dude. That's... That's life. So you have to survive four turns. Another strategy. Four holy waters. Four bandages. Should probably bring... This is going to sound crazy. I think 18 food is fine. And I think this is all we need. I'll bring some... I don't think we need to bring torches, but just in case I'll bring some. I don't know. I don't think we need laudanum either. Let's embark. Are we ready? Is this relatively good to go? Lowers your dodge. I heard this dude has 65 dodge or 68. So I'm a little nervous. He also moves back and forth, so we gotta be. Having Iron Swan is really useful, actually. Okay, let's do it. Survivors of this encounter are sometimes rewarded with unique quirks, which uh, occasionally manifest themselves as uh, negatives that you will have to pay to remove. But let's see. So I, I, I've heard he has a nest. And he has a, a body. Alright, there he is. Hello. A nest, 123. If we want to kill him, we can focus him instead of focusing the nest. But if we kill the nest, we get a crap load of gold. 48% chance to hit. There is a god. Did debuff him. His dodge is substantially lowered. We got pecked. Such a terrible I have made a horrible mistake. <laughs> I would like to leave the fight now. Okay, use the holy water, which we should have done earlier. And then 
use that. And then this guy, I mean, he's stunnable, but that's not what you want to do. His resistances are too high. You got to go for it. Please don't go again. We resisted the debuff. Life is good. All right, my friends. Be bolstered. I am a fool. You're supposed to use holy water. That's my mistake. Of skill and purpose. That's not that bad. Life goes on. Next step. Use the holy water. Buff your resistances. Sniper shot. He's already purged the mark off of him. Oh, I don't know if that's enough damage, dude. You're a god. It's a start. Still going, baby. Still going. That's a lot of damage. I'm going to be honest. Damage above all. We got to lower his dodge. We got to give him the mark so that our sniper's got a better chance. Debuff. Terrible accuracy. Huge. Huge. Smack him. Smack him. That's a smack. Don't do it. Miss. Huge miss. Blow to body and brain. That's 20 damage worth of bleed. That's, that's a ton. Too much. Enjoy your holy water, my friend. Smack him. Seven damage! Crush him. That's terrible. Robert. Robert does not go down like that. That's what you need to know about my boy Rob. This would be a great time for a crit, Nicholas. That's not a crit, but that's a lot of damage. Call the murder. Uh, nice try. That's what I'm talking about. No pecs. No crits then. Oh, do, 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 do. We got a chance. We got a chance. He's marked, but he's going to lose it. This is where you make a decision. I think you got to take this. Huge! Nah, 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 nah. No debuffs, no madness. He's gone! Set the stage for we were like one turn away. If Nick got the shoot, he would have killed him. We still completed the quest, we get the trinket, we'll see if anybody gets any special abilities, but... Oh. We were so close. Yo, Fox Mulder. Who would have thought? Corvid's curiosity. Cannot resist the lure of shiny things. Well, we tried. We'll go out on another mission now. <laughs> in truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed. Since Ooh, I sent they were successful in retrieving powerful relics from the greedy Shrieker. That was good. We just need to do a little bit more in damage. Time, you will I, I admire myself my for having the cojones to try. Mind you, we're a little light on cash now, and everybody needs stress relief. Um, 42. Ugh. I hate to say it, but we almost have to go on, like, another antiquarian run. I think we the will, believe it or not. Terrible, and weakness cannot be tolerated. I don't have the crystals, okay? Um, and the probably, like, I want to upgrade all of our units before we do boss fights, but I need to, I mean, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but, like, we need to do some antiquarian stuff here. Oh, dude, we also have a level one boss to kill? The Sodden Crew. Maybe we'll just do that. Like, do we have a party capable of doing that without being, like, needlessly overpowered? I think the answer is, if we're not going to do it now, it's not going to get any easier, if you know what I mean. Like, if we could roll Gan, step one, we'll probably need to take Henrik again. Unless you want to take a level zero occultist. <laughs> Which, if I'm being honest, actually seems completely fine. But let's think about it. So we'll take Gan at the front. Usually, uh, I think we were rolling Wolf. I can't remember. Cory is a little bit high level now. 
Josh can work in the second position, well, which is really the first position after the first turn. Of course, he could roll a hue. Or hue. But they won't be able to hit anybody at the back, is what kind of scares me here. And you need a regular healer. The regular healer would be the occultist. Moby. <laughs> it writes itself. You start with a heal, which is all you really need as far as I'm concerned, in order to be on this squad. I mean, I don't think it's great. But I think it's got a, a certain amount of damage potential. Not well. It has stress healing. Yeah, I mean, why not? Is really where I'm at right here. I don't know if this party's terrible. It might be good to give you some trinkets, though. I'm not sure if you've ever considered that trinkets are also important. So let's take a look at the new trinket we got. Extra speed, and you do better if your torch is low. But extra speed is pretty good. So usually we want our jester to start immediately. So let's give him extra speed. Um, and we also, I thought we had a, yeah, this one. So turn one, he's just incredible. Turn two, he's still pretty good. Crusader, we'll give you the rare Crusader trinket. Uh, I have to be honest, I think Josh is more befitting the extra damage. I thought, uh, we don't have any abomination only trinkets. Give me a sun ring. Sun rings are, I mean, based on my playstyle, they seem pretty universally useful. Uh, so we're on the cove medium. It's a lot of shovels. We'll go two stacks. I know we're light on money, but it is what it is, right? I'm willing to roll like this, I think. The sodden crew. I don't want to look it up before. I did against the bird, and I, honestly, if I hadn't done it against the bird, I think we would have been screwed. I'll take two of those just in case. Call me in the morning. Prying eyes had become a nuisance along the old road, and so I undertook to receive my most curious deliveries by way of marine shipments. A sheltered jetty was accessible by a narrow stone stair off the back of the manor. And a discreet system of pulleys could hoist even the heaviest prizes up the rock face from a securely tied... Dude, I didn't ask for your life story. I just want to kill the drowned crew, also known as the Sodden Crew. Okay. The poor devils. Chained. Boss. Drowning. That's a long trip. Okay, so gotta be very intelligent here. Stress is our enemy. Mission accomplished right off the bat. Now we gotta think. I mean, Demon's Pull is not very relevant. You go for that guy. His bleed resist is lower. Your chance to hit was better. That Sacrificial Stab doesn't bleed at level 1? What a world. The knife has blood on it. That's all I'm trying to say. Alright, one enemy. So far, textbook. This guy's speed is pretty high, though. We will transform Josh, but Josh pretty much exists to transform for the boss fight, I think. This is a very, very good fight. Absolutely no complaints. Even got a shovel out of it, which is a pretty high priority. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I will admit, you know, fighting that, uh, the Shrieker was very bad from a gold standpoint. And that's why I didn't put any of our units in stress relief just yet. I'm hoping that after going on a couple of missions, isn't there like ambient stress relief? If you don't take, uh, units out on a couple of missions. Go healer and stress dealer first. Uh, if you don't take a unit out on a couple of missions, they ambiently give you a little, uh, a little stress relief. Two to three, huh? That's unfortunate. Masterfully executed. We're gonna leave one of them slightly alive, I think. Impressive. We're really giving him the nickel and dime, to be honest. 
<laughs> just to get the DOT here. Um, hey, we're going to pick up two kills on turn one. It, 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 sadly. Oh, we're going to pick up one kill on turn one. Uh, we're going to pick up two kills on turn one. I thought that was a heal. That was a, just a terrible move on your part. Four damage. Not a problem. Two points of bleed. As far as I'm concerned, not relevant, really. Not yet. Stress wave is annoying, of course. That's, that's enough stress to be annoyed by. Uh, and this guy gets to go, which I think is frustrating more than anything. But now, let's see. What? Did a level zero occultist just crit heal for 38? Or am I, uh... <laughs> am I seeing things? Because I feel like he just healed for 38, uh, and that's... It's just a lot higher than I would ever expect, I guess. Taking a little opportunity to do some stress relief. Here's my thinking. He's gonna do an Octosastus, probably. It is what it is. Hits for three with six damage of bleed at maximum. No big deal. Um, then, our dude's gonna get to go, and Josh gets a good stun chance. The stun works, now we got some freedom. What do you do with that freedom? Um... I mean, I'm still... If it bleeds you for one, what do I care, right? Basically, we're going to take this opportunity to stress heal just about every unit that we can. And then next turn, we're going to pop out and ruin this guy. Ideally. So. Three damage is obviously really bad. Um... Manacles is still our best move for now. It probably will not stun. Hey, that's really good for me. Because now... We can just finish him off like that. We didn't need a crit. We needed a high roll. But we, we had every other action coming anyway. Um, unlocked strong box. Here's... Like... I just feel like, why would I open this right now? You know what I mean? We have no space. Now, I will say, I'm very wary of the fact that we were instantly rewarded for thinking that we shouldn't open it at all. It makes me very suspicious, as weird as that sounds. Because now, it's going to be hard for me to ever think that I was wrong. Because the evidence has supported my perhaps ignorant assumptions. A fortune waiting to be spent. So we'll try to camp maybe like if we can camp just before the boss, it would be a dream come true. Party's working out just fine for now. Hunger works for me. Keep moving along. Basically, just a little monotony here. We got a little combat coming right up. We're going to try to work our way through. 70? 80? 70? I'm going to take the 70 for stress relief. Now, highly debatable whether or not that's the right call. <laughs> but it's what we did, so... Alright, we need to make some inventory space. Ideally. If we could use holy water. But we have no reason to, though. Alright, finale. Huge! I was gonna say, to get a crit here would be super nice. Then, Beast Bile. Is it worth the DOT? I'm gonna say yes. Still puts this guy in Crusader range. We're gonna hope that he's around to finish the job. Mission accomplished. Took out two enemies. This guy's one attack away. He might get to go twice. His speed is relatively high. Seven damage is no joke. At this level, anyway. Nine damage? That's, uh, you don't need me to tell you. It's no joke. If you go for the one, you might be able to kill. Another nine damage. I've said many things about the jokes and lack thereof. At least he resisted the bleed. That's obviously terrible, but... <laughs> At least he resisted the bleed. 
5, 11, 2. Yeah, I still think you'd do it just to try to get your Crusader into more likely to lethal range. It's fine. Um, Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I think that's sensible. Uh, dude. Backpack management. I'm sorry, heirlooms. I, I really am. Purge negative quirk. Honestly, I'd like Gan to purge his negative quirk of being nocturnal, which is exactly what happened. Now he doesn't lose speed when our torch is high, which uh, makes him a, a better uh, member of the squad, to be honest. A little bit of stress relief. Ooh, now we're talking. Still, um, a little bit more food. We got 12 left. It's enough to camp and still feel good about. Right now, everything's going according to plan. We have very, very little to be irritated about. 70. We'll go for 70 for stress relief. It still works. What can I say? We could still eat... A little food with Josh before camping. It just gets more and more risky as time goes on. That we're going to hit another starvation event. Okay, more holy water. Wish I'd use the torch. It's okay. Do it anyway. We didn't put our units back in their right positions either. Bad move. I don't really want to move you up one. I think I, I can get away with it though. And then we can finale later. Not that we need to. This is what I mean by get away with it. Okay, Stress Boy is dead. Could have gotten funky with it, tried to get one of these guys. I mean, we know that the attack does a lot of damage, so it's annoying. Healed for six, no bleed. I would describe that as adequate. We gotta be careful about Gan. He's got such little HP. Hugh is finally starting to pick it up a little bit. You can finale from this spot. I always forget. Well, sadly, uh, you suck. Hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a little spotty, isn't it? As much as I hate to say it, dude, forget the Blightstone. I think we're better off camping in this room, and I hope there won't be enemies. We'll just get to the room and we'll camp. There are enemies. Not the end of the world, but starting to get a little bit end of the worldy. Oh my god, we go next. Demon's pull is just useless. I should really mix that up. That's really bad. A heal obviously would have been better, but I thought if we could take one out before they got to attack, that would work. On the bright side, and there is a bright side here, we're going to get to camp after engaging into combat instead of uh, before. Which is what we want, because if we survive adequately enough, most of the negativity of this fight is going to be handled. Okay, that's fine. I don't really want to kill that guy first anyway. I'm focused on the Lord at the back. And normally we'd go for a stress heal, but we don't really have any stress. We're a little bit worse for wear on uh, other capacities. Sadly, we pretty much have to go for a stun. Doesn't matter who we stun, because it's going to hit the same guy. All right, so we could kill you. Our Crusader doesn't really have a choice, so that's fine. Wow. Ironically, we would have loved for that to hit him, but... I think we have to pull him into Crusader territory. Should be fine. Heal for two. What happened to that heal for 38, dude? All right. We got one dude. Octasastus is a little annoying. No question about it. But we can out-heal one Octasastus. Especially if it dodges. Got to admit, I winced a little bit as the shot came in. Wow, just actually die. 
beauty. Um, we don't really, I mean, I guess we could, the heal is guaranteed. It's not really your job, but if he's stunned, it seems kind of appropriate. Still need to hit him pretty hard. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? He's actually killing me. Okay, so we need to do 9 damage. Not gonna happen unless we crit. Please dodge. That's fine. I mean, I can't say I don't deserve it. <laughs> This guy, we could kill him easily. We're trying to min-max it, and it's it's hurting us. There we go. A real heal. I don't even care if it bleeds for one. I'm actually pleased we get the opportunity to use both of our bandages for a good cause. Just taking it real slow for now. Hit him for two, and we are set. All you gotta do is hit him for two. All you gotta do is hit him for two points of damage. There you go. Way longer than it needed to be, but here we are. I do want... Uh, forget the bleed stone. Remind Irrelevant. That overconfidence is a slow We're gonna camp first. Killer. Unless there's combat in our next room. You know, I hate to say because I know we're leaving treasure behind as well, but... We can hold it all? That's incredible. Now it must be carried home. We got two combats, then we're gonna rest probably before the boss fight. I would rather rest before, even if we're good on health and stress, just so we can... Uh, and again, we didn't put our units back in the right freaking positions. Uh, just so we can uh, buff ourselves for the boss fight, if possible. And you can't even operate from this area, dude. So we're gonna try a rare... Huge mistake play. <laughs> we shouldn't have pulled. The pull was very, very bad there. The stun is fine. Yeah, we're, we're way out of sorts here. I may do some desperation plays. Like walk backwards before we fight in our next fight. He had to go. Go camp in the room we were just in and then come back and do these two fights. Is this By not having the dude ready for finale right off the bat, it just screws the whole thing up, honestly. The reason I suggest that is because... Uh, now, like, the stress dealer lives longer. Our dude is... Uh, our cultist is not in a position to do a sacrificial stab. Yes, we can finale next turn. But so what, right? Then we used three attacks to kill a dude, and the final attack did all the damage necessary, which it hurts a great deal. A, a four damage crit, four HP crit, that hurts. I mean, the buff is strong. It looks like I was probably overreacting, like everything is, is going relatively well. This would be a great stun. He didn't get stunned. Oh, and he hit us for nine. That's outrageous. That was bad. We should have gone for the other one. I, I literally, if I'm being honest with you, I thought they were the same thing. Please tell me I go before he goes. Oh, okay. 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 He Forget the skeleton key. Everybody, places, please, people, places. This time, we're not gonna be dumb. Just eat a little bit. We're gonna go for the fight. All right. Pretty standard situation. This it would be amazing to do this properly and then camp after. Huge! Daniel Deasling. Incredible. 
Good. Very, very good. Substantially better than very good. This is an extremely strong first turn. Oh my lord. Somebody up there likes us. It could not have gone better. Full stop. No exaggeration. That was our first move where things could have gone better. Probably should stress relief. Uh, fake Fox Mulder. You might be saying, by the way, why are you attacking with the Occultist? Well, we're attacking with the Occultist because we're about to rest anyway, but we probably should not do that. <laughs> we should stay on top of it. That's bad. That would have bought us some time. That's also bad. That's not. That's huge. Alright, what do we get? I'd really like to take the heirlooms with me. I'd really like to take the heirlooms. Why do we have shovels in two stacks? Oh, Lord. Um, forget the painting for now. Alright, here we go. We're gonna rest. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat four just in case we starve. I know that sounds crazy, but... Now... More HP would be nice. All companions lower stress. I can live with it. We have any other heals? Yes. Heal 15% remove blight and bleed. I love it. No ambush. Ambush would be real bad right now. You know what? Let's raise your speed. Alright. We should have one fight. I I don't know what to expect As out of it. Gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. I kept enough food, by the way, in case you're curious. I kept enough food to survive two battles. There we go. To survive a starvation event. I hope we don't get one so we can use it for healing purposes. But that, that was the reasoning. And the reasoning was not unsound. A blazing star is born. Not a kill, but not bad. Beast Bile does a lot of work here. You're dead. That's fantastic. You're alive. Alright, so that opens up uh, our occultist to definitely do a heal on the Jester. Wow, it's like really bad, dude. That was a nasty turn. That is what we're looking for. Thank you so much. Now the party doesn't look bad at all. One enemy. Manacles first, please. Manacles. Manacles, Josh. Lovely. Okay, we get a turn to do as we will. Huge. It's like we're going into this fight like pretty much exactly where we want to be. A little bit of HP down on the Abomination is, is the only thing that this is concerning at all here. Success. And we're shred, uh, shedding a lot of our excess loot as we get ready as well. Really might as well. I don't care about the disease charm at all. At all, at all. Okay, places... No torches, that's fine. Places. We're good. We're ready. Okie dokie. How do you fight a pirate ship? Even in death, the captain shouts his orders. All hands on deck. Don't charm me. Oh, hey. Drowned puller. Well... Three to five damage? I don't think so. We'll be going for something like that. Now, we do have to kill the units at the front. It seems like more of a damage over time sort of deal. Transform. The time is now. Then you can target the back line. Rake buffs yourself, but it does less damage itself. Rage. 
I mean, it's a lot of damage. We could probably make do with that, if I'm being honest. The pull's not gonna do anything. Really, well, we're on turn one. Eh, it could be worse. Uh, we're taking advantage of the fact that even our Crusader is in range of the sodden crew. Don't move me. Whoa. <laughs> Immobilized. Alright, so our... I'm gonna be straight up with you. If you're gonna take any unit out of the battle right now, our Crusader is a great choice. Now... He is suffering the ill effects of, of stress. I figured we should save him. It also it accomplishes something really nice for us. Because we, uh, we move this guy back to the front. The so everybody can hit him easily. Mutiny. Ooh, I don't know what it does, but I'm glad we dodged it. Four damage. Just, just incredible. Drink with the dead. Stress. 12 stress, not concerned. 19 damage. He should be concerned, dude. We still got backline targets. I'm not scared. He should be dead this turn. It should be possible to kill him this turn. He's dead. No, he has no DOT. But in theory, he could be dead. No mutinies, please. We resisted whatever foul debuff you tried to apply. And then we killed you with our Jester. Just as a sign of disrespect, because I don't respect you. Get out of your food. Get out of your medicinal... Get out... Get out of your medicinal herbs. And let's go, dude. That went just fine. Absolutely acceptable. And another red ring. Gan moves up to level 2, despite being the most valuable member of the squad. Josh is level 3. Hu is level 3. Creeping Cough, though. Has to be treated. And Beast Hater on Moby. We got units that need names, no question. But we also got... We got other things to deal with. Transept costs minus 50. Penance all costs minus 50. Okay, so what do you do with that? Extremely easy. Our units... From that previous mission against the bird, like Robert, for example, get yourself treated. We don't need a healer that much. And I'd say, like, Nick as a fourth line member is more useful to get treated, probably, right now. And then in the sanitarium, take care of you, because I think we are going to use you for now. Alrighty! Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps a great deal. We'll get that streaker next time. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!